Hey guys, I'm Mel, and today I want to do my February wrap up. So the first book I read this month is Not Worthy by Riley Redgate. This is about a girl who wants to be a part of the musical theatre world, but her voice is too low so she doesn't get cast in any of the shows. So when she sees the opportunity to join this all-male a cappella group, she dresses like a boy and takes that opportunity. This book might be one of my new favorite contemporary books. It has so many different elements that seem like harder at first. Her characters are so deep and complex, each one of them with their own voice, their own story, their own personality. It goes deep on things like gender, race, disability, privilege and sexuality, while maintaining a vital part of the book, which is the love that they have for a cappella. So I gave it five stars. Then I read Nine Fox Gambit by Jung Hali. This is about Captain Carl Cherries, who has to complete a mission with the help of an undead tactician who is her new weapon so she has to learn how to control him without him controlling her. This book was incredible. It was everything that a sci-fi book should be. It was intricate and unique and it doesn't give the answers straight away. The author makes you work for the answers. I really thought I had an idea of where this book was going, but that was a big mistake on my part. I had no idea what this book had in store for us. The world building and the rules of this world were very, very unique. So there are things that definitely went over my head. That's why I give it four stars. Then I read Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner. This is about a girl who is deaf and goes to an all deaf school. And one day she sees a slur written in a wall directed to her best friend. So she uses her graffiti abilities to cover that slur that her best friend tells on her. So she gets expelled from school. So she has to go to a hearing school now. I expected to love this book. I mean, a deaf Indian graffiti artist who doesn't have everything figured out and who's not that good at school because of a failure of the system. Them, it sounds like a brilliant book and honestly those parts of the story were incredible you can see that the author put so much research into the graffiti world and into the deaf community I can't really talk about the representation because I'm not deaf nor Indian so I don't really know if the representation was well done but I love how it called out a system that catered towards violence against not able people. I had one main problem but it's because I got an arc from Netgali and in that arc there was a word that is a slur that it was used constantly by this guy and I actually got like this really visceral um, reaction towards that word but then the author told me that in the finished copy that word is gone it wasn't necessary to have that word there especially when it's not an own voices book but I'm happy that in the finished copy the word is not there apart from that I didn't think that this book was particularly well, well written it's because the main character continuously excused herself when she told us that she wasn't judging her ex-best friend because she was with a lot of boys but it sounded like she was actually judging her also, there is a character with an eating disorder and we don't see anything from that. We don't see the main character talking to her or, or worrying about her. So, so there are things that I liked and there are things that I didn't like about this book, so I gave it three stars. Then I read History is All You Left Me by Alan Simbera. It's about this boy whose ex-boyfriend dies and then he has to go to his funeral where he meets his ex-boyfriend, current boyfriend. So they start supporting each other but honestly it wasn't as emotional as I thought it would be I connected a lot with the main character and I connected a lot with one of his friends I absolutely adore how these characters were challenged all the time with biphobic with ableist comments that they had they constantly challenged each other and called each other out with those things I love how complex everything was like 
how complex the relationships and the situations were. I thought this book was so so well written but there were things that still I wasn't completely on board with so I gave it four stars. Then I read The Blazing Star by Imani Jossi. This is about three girls who time travel to ancient Egypt and who have to figure out how to survive in this new world that might have magic in different ways. This book took me a while to read because mainly it was boring. There were parts that were super interesting. She didn't question anything that was happening. She went along with a lot of things except for the things that were interesting. I really really couldn't get into the story but I have to say that the world building of ancient Egypt was so so interesting. I just wish we could have seen more of it because the author wouldn't go fully there you know so I gave it three stars then I read the first volume of a comic book and that is the backstagers this is about the guy who wants to be a part of the theater but then he knows the backstagers which is a group that works in the backstage of the theater and then he decides that he wants to be a part of it. I'm definitely intrigued about this comic book. It presented an intricate and hilarious new world that I'm so excited to dive into and a set of characters that seem complex and adorable. There is such a diverse cast of characters and they have such weird but awesome personalities so I I can't wait to keep reading this comic book. So I gave it four stars. Then I read Hopscotch or Rajuela by Julio Cortázar. This is an Argentinian book about a guy who is from Argentina and who goes to France looking for this girl. He is so entranced by her and she is very in love with him but he doesn't seem to be as in love with her as she is with him. This book is told in very different chapters and it has three parts. The first one is in France, the second one is in Argentina and the last one is chapters that you don't need to read but they are going to give you a lot of answers about everything that's happening. You have like the suggested way of reading it by the author. You can read it chronologically or you can read it like however you want and it's so so interesting like it's a complete new way of reading. I was really really intrigued about everything that was happening. This is a classic of Latin American literature. It presents a set of characters that they are going to make you question everything you know about literature and everything you know about books and I gave it four stars. Then I read Second Kiss by Chelsea M. Cameron. This is a short novella about a girl who works in this really cool coffee shop and bakery and when she's working there her childhood crush comes and even though she's a lesbian she doesn't know if her ex-best friend is into her as well it's a really really cute and short love story it doesn't have a lot of conflict it really warmed my heart it's such a short book and it managed to make me connect with the characters and it made me like fall in love with them and their love so i really really love this book and i gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars and then I read another cute love story and that is Coffee Boy by Austin Chant. This is about a guy who starts an internship that was given to him by his professor but he feels like this professor only gave that job to him because he's trans and he wants to give himself a pat on the back and when he's in that office he meets this other guy who seems very in love with their boss who is his professor and they start getting to know each other I absolutely adore it it was so special to me because it's on voices and in the author's notes at the end of the book he said that he wanted to give his trans queer characters a happy ending all the time I love how intricate these relationships were not, not only the main relationship but also their relationships with themselves and accepting themselves and I absolutely adore it. And the final book that I read is Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shetterly and it's a story about the black women that were a vital part of getting men into the space. This book was so 
good like it had some parts that were so difficult to understand like I'm not going to lie but at the same time it had so much heart behind everything that they were doing you can tell that they loved what they were doing so much and that they gave everything for them to be there and that the author made so much research to understand everything that happened years ago so yeah I gave it four stars okay that's everything for February Hope you like this, if you subscribe and I will see you when I see you. Bye!